we've gotten some new Star Citizen updates. It is Wednesday and we've gotten the roadmap roundup. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Morai Pulse. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of June. Let's go. CIG has mentioned that uh, they've added uh, three new vehicles to the release view. These are the ones that we've already seen already. Um, so the Argo MPUV tractor, the RSI Ursa Medivac, as well as the Aegis Saber Firebird. Okay, so they have some new stuff um, that they're also committing to 323.2. So now this is the hangar patch that I mentioned in my previous videos. The very first item is going to be item banks and it says adding the bank kiosk to the persistent universe, allowing players to retrieve and store FPS items at multiple locations. So what this means is they are going to be getting rid of the uh, local inventory that we're used to and um, instead we'll have to access our items through these terminals also just a caveat they are not including the subscriber flares um, that we could potentially lose we cannot retrieve them yet it's not in this current build so um, if you have those special uh, weapons and skins and stuff like that we won't be able to get it yet um, but it's going to be in a future uh, 323 patch i believe um the next one is going to be freight elevators it says implementing of systems and content for players to physically load and unload cargo to and from their ships by conveying cargo to and from hangars landing pads garages and docking collars docking collars so we're going to be moving items from uh between docking collars that's going to be interesting now let's see how this is going to work because anybody can just walk in right so are we going to get persistent hangers that's connected to docking collars is that how that's going to work i'm interested to see how this is going to actually play out okay so uh this is big this is big um this is one of the ones that i'm really uh looking forward to next one it says new missions cargo hauling is also another big one that i'm looking forward to um it says make use of the freight elevator features this mission type will have players hauling large quantities of cargo to earn both auec and reputation this is going to be huge especially especially when you get the high level ones where you have to move tons and tons of uh, cargo i would love to uh you know experience that space trucker uh, experience that uh we haven't had yet um because we've been we've really been moving these small little uh carryable boxes really um so i'm glad that this is now in and uh, we can actually start doing this and and rank up in the reputation and see how um how much money we can make at the highest tiers okay so the next one is personal and instance hangers is going to be huge for uh this patch you know all of these things are all going to be very impactful as they touch everything in um in, in the game all the features it touches all the features okay so for personal and instance hangers it says create a new tech that creates instance of the player's hanger to allow for uninterrupted management of cargo inventory and vehicles personal hangers are found at players home location allow for customization and organization of the hangar interior so customization finally we're getting more customization into the game aside from our ships this is going to be awesome okay this is going to be awesome and um, i think this is also going to lead us down the path of crafting i'm sure they'll eventually start adding uh kiosk or uh, um, stations that will allow us to craft items they did mention this with the ironclad actually uh where the ironclad assault has a station where you can craft uh com small components for your vehicle so um i uh hopefully we can see that sooner than later um but i believe this is going to lead us into the crafting and um personal um hangers are going to be our first bases initially you know and i believe we will be seeing a uh, base building um probably early next year hopefully um but i'm sure we'll hear more about it um by this year's uh and uh, ie event so yeah you guys let me know what is the feature that you're most excited about for 323.2 let me know in the comments down below don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.